Hey guys, it's Mike here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a gyro on a delta wing plane. And specifically, I'm going to use the Orange RX 3-axis flight stabilizer from Hobby King. Besides the stabilizer, you're going to need a V-tail mixer. You're going to need two male-to-male -male servo leads. And be sure to check out my other video where I show you how to set up the stabilizer on a normal wing plane, which has ailerons, elevator, and a rudder. I'll add a link to this video so you can see it. Now first let me show you how a delta wing works. Instead of just using ailerons and elevator to control your, your roll and your pitch, elevons serve both purposes. So if you move the elevator down, you'll notice that both elevons move up. And likewise, when you move the ele elevator up, both elevons move down. Now if you move your aileron right and left, you'll see the elevons alternate. That's how a delta wing works. Now if you're using your transmitter to do elevon mixing, the first thing that you need to do is turn off the elevon mixing in your radio and install a V-tail mixer like this one. If you already have a V-tail mixer installed, you can skip ahead to the stabilizer setup. Hobby King sells Turnigy and GWS mixers. In my experience, the, ter the cheaper Turnigy mixer sometimes makes the uh, servos jitter a little bit. So the GWS one might be a better choice. If you don't have the mixer installed, here's how to do it. You'll want to do this before installing the stabilizer. So you first you want to turn off the Elevon mixing on your radio. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do this on a Spectrum DX6i. Uh, you'll have to check out your own radio to see how you do it on your own radio. But I assume if you set up Delta mixing on your radio already, you know how to get to it and set it up. On the DX6i, you just hit the button on the side, go down to Setup List, select that, go down to Wing Tail Mix, select that, go down to Elevon, select um, that, so that it, and then select inhibit instead of activate and then you can just hold down the button and it'll get back out to the outer menu and now you uh, you've just turned off the Elevon mixing on your radio next you want to plug in the two male servo leads from your mixer into the elevator and aileron ports on your receiver and don't worry if you don't have the Elevon the elevator and the aileron ones labeled or plugged into the right ports there um, we'll be able to switch them later when we do our testing I actually have mine labeled next you want to plug in your right and left Elevon servos into the mixer again don't worry if you have them plugged into the wrong ports because when we do the testing you'll be able to switch them okay now we have our mixer hooked up between our receiver and our two Elevon servos now it's time to test it if I push down on my ele elevator, both of the uh, Elevon should come up. Now if I push up on the uh, elevator, both of them should go down. If I pu push to the right on my aileron, the uh, right side of the right Elevon should go up, left one should go down, and vice versa if I push to the left. That's how it should work if everything is set up properly. Now let's cover some other scenarios if, if it doesn't operate this way. So if you notice both control surfaces move in the opposite direction, then you might need to reverse the channels. For example, if I push down on my elevator and both elevons are moving down, then I know that I need to reverse my elevator on the radio. Likewise with my ailerons, if they're backwards, you just need to reverse the aileron channel on your radio. This one is backwards. If you notice a behavior where your when you move your aileron stick right and left, it acts like an elevator. And your elevator stick up and down acts like a aileron, then you just need to switch the two connections going uh, the two server leads going into your receiver from the mixer. 
these two right here in this case. So now that we have the mixer installed, let's install the stabilizer. This part assumes that you have a VTL mixer already installed. Don't skip this step. You have to make sure that you have a VTL mixer. It won't work if you try to do Elevon mixing through your radio. Look at the two servo leads coming from your mixer into your receiver. Look at where they're plugged into, into the elevator and the aileron ports. Take a piece of tape or label the wires, aileron and elevator. You can see I have these labeled already. Disconnect the two servo leads coming from the mixer that are plugged into your receiver. Then you want to take your two male servo leads that we mentioned earlier and plug those into the aileron and elevator ports on your receiver. Then take those two male servo leads and plug them into the aileron and elevator inputs on your stabilizer. It should be labeled in yellow on the side and it should be the fourth and fifth row of pins. Be careful to match up aileron to aileron and elevator to elevator. Next you want to plug in the two mixer servo leads into the left aileron output and elevator output on the stabilizer. Remember you label these things so you should know which is which. Always be careful to make sure that the dark wire, the black wire is the ground is the ground wire and they all line up on the same side on the stabilizer which is on the right hand side here. Okay, congratulations, you've got it all hooked up. Now it's time to test it. Let's put some power to this thing and try it out. First, turn the gyro gains to the maximum position, which is fully clockwise. This way, they'll, the gyro movements will be exaggerated, and it'll be easier to determine if they're working right or not. Note that if when you adjust the yaw on the gain, it probably won't have any effect unless you have a rudder installed in your plane. But... Delta wings like this typically don't have a rudder, so you can leave the yaw setting untouched if you like. You want to place the gyro in a position where it's going to be level and flat and facing forward towards the front of the plane. Then you can plug in the battery and start testing. First you want to check that your movements are as expected. If you move down with the elevator, both elevons should move up. If you move right with your aileron, you should notice the right side, right the right elevon should move up. The left should go down. If you notice that the controls are moving in the opposite direction, simply go to your radio and reverse the channels. For example, your elevator causes motion, both elevons to move in the opposite direction. Go into your radio, reverse the channel. Now let's check the movements on the control surfaces and see, see if they uh, act correctly when the plane is moved in a certain direction. If there's a sudden nose down movement, it should cause both, both of the elevons to come up. You'll notice in my case, both elevons go down. So I'm going to have to move the dip switch for the elevator on my three axis gyro. Now that it appears to work properly when the nose goes down, elevons both move up. But now I notice on my radio that when I try to move down with the elevator, they move up, they move down also, and they should be moving up. So what we need to do is we just need to reverse the elevator channel on the radio. The stick works right in that case. And let's check the movement. Yep. That works. Sudden movement down brings brings those elevators up. 
Now if we do a sudden right roll, we should cause the left elevon to go up and the right one to go down. You notice mine works properly. If it does move in the opposite direction, you want to follow the same logic. First, you want to reverse the dip switch for the aileron on the 3-axis gyro, and then reverse the channel on the aileron on your radio. So after you're done testing, what you want to do is turn the gyro gains back to the middle position for flight testing. So you're going to turn them back counterclockwise to the middle position, or the 12 o'clock position. So you want to test with that and then slowly increase the gains after you do some test flying. Okay, congratulations. You've now set up your orange RX flight stabilizer on your delta wing. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy flying.